Oh, what a crazy 24 hours it has been. Some may call it a travel day from hell, but I like to be a little bit more optimistic. Yes, these days happen, but um, yeah, let me take you on for the ride and share the story that happened yesterday. So I wake up and go to Manila Airport like any normal day. I arrive at my check-in gate and the line for the gate is a little bit longer than inspected, but that's okay. We're still in good spirits. We're going to Japan. So I get through security, as you can see here, got my passport, got my ticket, find my plane. It's a little bit wet outside, but should be fine. Line up to get on the plane, another long queue again, which is all good. Finally, get on the plane sit down love the seating arrangement i had three seats all to myself i was planning to lay down on that flight get a nice good sleep things started to turn a little sour and this is where things start to get worse and worse so then we lined up in security to get back through the back entrance, which took another half an hour. Then we were lined up to the Cebu Airlines transfer desk, which was another two hours. Some people were in good spirits, but most people were very angry and pissed off. We got no communication. They weren't sure if we were getting a hotel or what was going on. No one knew what was happening. Everyone was just in this big line. <laughs> so then I finally got to the transfer desk. I got a hotel voucher ticket. I had no idea if this included transport or what. Finally asked a few questions. Turns out it includes transport. Great. So we wait another 20 minutes to get the bus. We finally go out to where the bus is. Then the bus drives off. <laughs> so apparently the bus was ready, but turns out it wasn't. So all they're waiting, the staff are freaking out, trying to call people, point people in different directions. I have no idea what's going on. No one's talking in English. Finally, some mini vans turn up. There was one seat left in the minivan and I got invited to go on. So we finally go to our hotel, check in, and this brings me to the next morning where I have my buffet breakfast and we sit down and try this all over again. So yeah, come along with me today and let's try round two of, um, of getting to Japan. Okay, so it's time to check out and get on, hopefully, the shuttle bus that's going to be there. So um, let's go. We're on the 29th floor, so a little bit of the way down. <laughs> Okay, so good news, the bus has arrived. My bag is out here, so hopefully it gets on the bus, but um, yeah, it's good. Happy days with that, so off to the airport now. So now we're just waiting for everyone to get on the bus. Everyone was meant to be here before 11, but you classically always have those struggles. Um, so yeah, let's see how long we're waiting here for. Could be a little bit longer, but that's all right. We won't miss our flight. Well, I hope not. <laughs> oh man. Fingers crossed. Today should be good. This guy's gonna let me go. Ooh. <laughs> all right, let's go. So all these people here behind me are lined up for the massive line, but each gate you can go in. So I'm gonna go down to the shorter line and get in straight away. See, this line's way shorter, so 
Don't always be a sheep and follow the leader. That line was like three times the size of this, so um, yeah, we should get in a lot quicker now. So today's queue is even longer than yesterday, <laughs> but um, that's right. I tried to check in with the um, with the self-service check-in, but no luck. They're like, yeah, so you gotta line up, but that's right. We're going to Japan today. I'm manifesting it. We'll get there. Okay, so after about a 40 minute wait, about five minutes away now from checking in, then we go through security and immigration. So yeah, that should be fun. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so I now made it through immigration and security. I don't normally do travel day vlogs um, because I'm normally like stressed out about security and checking in, <clears throat> but we're doing one today. So leave a like if you want me to do more of these. I just picked up some food from a place called Kenny Rogers Roasters. <laughs> Whatever that is. So I ordered a uh, chicken burger and I didn't know that I got some chips with it as well, which is good. I didn't know that it came with that. So let's give this a taste. I've got about an hour until my flight. Oh, it gave me the wrong burger. Oh well, <laughs> I asked for chicken burger, but I got beef. That's okay, give this a taste. Oh yeah, that's good, that's really nice. So this was 260 pesos plus the water, which works out to be $8.60 Australian or probably $5 US. So not too bad, it is a little bit small, but it is nice. I might go and grab another snack before I get on the plane because when I land it will be 8 p.m. which will be dinner time and I'm going to be hungry. So, Hello, how are you? Do you want to be in the video? <laughs> uh, it's Jack Tor. Jack Tor, T-O-R-R. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you walk in the background you can see yourself. I'll leave it in. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yeah, so I'm just gonna eat this now and then um, get on the plane. So it should be good. I've asked for a middle seat, um, which should be good. So she said to me, you should get the seat as long as no one sit, ne six, sit next to you. But currently when I asked for it, it was free. Announcement. <laughs> That's one thing about airports. Announcements, okay. So yeah. So hopefully I get a seat either side of me. Um, as of yesterday, there was um, USB ports and everything to charge and the middle seat was really good, lots of room. So hopefully I get that, but uh, yeah, I'll eat this and let's get on the plane. So I just checked for my gate because my boarding pass didn't actually have my gate on it. So I had to check at the screen back there. So we're at gate 110. We've got about 30 minutes until we have to be at the gate and then probably another 40 minutes after that before the plane takes off. So yeah, it should be good. Okay, so I've now arrived to my gate. Um, I put my phone on charge, even though that there was charging ports on the last plane, you never know. So um, I got that on charge, but there's a lot of people at this gate, so I think it's gonna be a really full flight. Fingers crossed, no one sits next to me. I'm really hoping. So there's a few things that you need to know if you wanna to come to Japan. I thought it'd be a good time now to explain it. So technically there's three sort of documents you need. I filled these out yesterday, so it makes um, good sense for the video. I'm just going to show the back of this because I don't want to show my personal information, but you'll get one of these, which is just a custom declaration form, just a foreigner card, sort of a arrival card type thing. Um, and that's the exact same thing. But the main thing that you need to know is um, the health declaration that you need to do, uploading your COVID certificates. I could be wrong, but if you get your third vaccination as a particular vaccination, I think it's like Pfizer or something, Moderna, I don't know, don't quote me on that, but if one of them is the last one, it doesn't count as three vaccinations. You need to have like a certain three or a certain mix, it's really weird. What you need to do is download the My SOS app. And from there, you'll get one of these um, registration forms and you go through, fill the prompts out. And after that, you should 
get a QR code that looks something like this. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Which will look something like this. I'm just covering my personal information. So you'll get a blue, see that blue box at the top? So once that is complete, then you can use that and use that to check in and fast track into different places around Japan as well. So um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated in the vlogs about what you need to use that for. But yeah, so, so far so good. Um, today is looking good. Hopefully we get on the plane and it takes off this time. So um, yeah, I'll update you guys once I'm on the plane. Radio, so I'm currently on. No one next to me so far, but not everyone's on the plane yet, so let's see how we go. Unfortunately, this time, no charging ports, so um, that's a bit annoying. Lucky I have my battery pack to charge the phone, but um, we'll soon see. <laughs> but uh, good leg room though. Hopefully we take off. <laughs> okay, so they've shut the doors now. No one's next to me. Yes! <laughs> so I'm going to sit here, do some editing. And um, yeah, enjoy the next three and a half hours. So yeah, it should be good. I'll see you guys in Japan. Probably an hour. <laughs> it's almost a repeat of yesterday. They're saying they can't move the plane due to lightning. But it's stopped raining, there's no lightning. It's just stupid procedures. So we're finally moving. Let's hope we take off. Please, please God, let's hope we take off. It's currently five o'clock, two hours since we're meant to take off. Still haven't taken off yet. <laughs> Looks like that we're the last plane now in the line to take off. But some people are really getting annoyed. They're like going up to the staff complaining, saying, ring the pilot, how long do we have left? I think that's the same people from yesterday that got their flight canceled like me. So yeah, hopefully we take off soon, but it's just crazy two hour wait and then cancelled yesterday after we waited for two and a half hours insane radio we're taking off now finally So they've just called, we're going to be landing in about half an hour, so I'm just packing up my things and then I'll see you guys on the other side. Probably won't film through security and immigration because Japan's going to be pretty strict with all of that, but um, I'll show you guys the process of how I get to my hotel using the train station, so um, yeah, see you guys then. I can already tell that this might be one of my favorite countries already and I haven't even left the airport. For example, we come off the plane, there's cushioning seats like and all color coded, all the lines coming in were color coded. I couldn't film much because there was no filming signs everywhere, but I got a little bits and snippets of the conveyor belt with the uh, bags which you weren't allowed to film and also the immigration which I got a little bit as well. But yeah, so now I gotta work out how to get on the train, how to get to the hotel. So we made it to Japan. Oh, it feels so good to be here. So we've checked into the room. The room is super nice. It's really big for Japan standards. Pretty small for my normal standards, but for Japan, it's pretty good. Nice bed, big um, screen TV, lovely bathroom, private bathroom. And I'm paying 20 Australian dollars per night or about 15 US dollars. So I finally got some food. It's about 12 o'clock at night here and I am so tired. So let's eat. I know that I don't film these travel videos much. So let me know in the comments if you want more of these videos. Let's try this beer. Mmm, that's really nice. So this is actually a Chinese beer, but I do plan to try Korean, uh, Korean. Where am I? Japan. 
Japanese, I do plan to try Japanese beer soon and that will be in an upcoming video, but this is a Chinese beer. We've got here um, like this heated meal that I got from the family mart down the road. So I'm just gonna get a little bit, oh, that's a big bit of chicken. All right, get a big bit of chicken and some meat and some, I think that this is egg and a little bit of whatever this is and some, some of this as well. Bit of this, bit of that, you know. All right. Mmm, that's really good. For a microwave meal. Damn, that's probably one of the best I've had. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Wow. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Alright, gonna finish this. Thank you so much for watching. As always, keep it real. And I'll see you in the next video here in Japan. Oh,